makes me so mad what he put you through when i'm the only man that made for you why going on ladies and gentlemen welcome to challenge boom boom room where we bring you the hottest r&b let's get into this it this part of the show is called did you know where we take one male artist and one female artist and we give you some facts about them let's get into it so today we got my girl so welcome child, be hey. married like so that said he would do, and yeah, carry on know. with my career silently but no i have to keep dealing with you uh, some walk is I fought with Summer Walker. I like her. She is destined, like, she's already great, but it's gonna get better and better and better. She's one of those artists that I love because, you know, she write her own music. She just do it all. And I love that because I'm like a musician. Like, you know, I should be. But, you know, y'all, hey, reach out to me, bro. I'm next week, did it. You feel me? But for real. But, yeah. Yeah, for real. Somebody give me a chance. Do it all. And, and, she done been through it all. You feel me? Her uh, parents divorced when she was like a teenager. Her daddy moved to London. Then, you know, she live in Atlanta. Gotta make that money. Y'all know what's going on. So my dog had jumped in the script club. You know what I'm saying? They had to make her do it. Actually, uh, she, she, but this is the craziest part right here. The lady who discovered Summer Walker, name is Summer Walker. And just so happened to work for a record label. And when she was just Googling herself one day, and Summer popped up, and Summer did music, and this, the other Summer owns the record label, Match Made in Heaven, look at God. Tell y'all, bro, hey, it's real out here. Y'all never know, so I, I just encourage everybody to chase their dream and go for what they know and stop all the bullshit, because it's crazy, because once you're gone, you're gone. So I'm really just living it up, chilling, Loving my family, helping out who I can, blessing who I can, because people be blessing me, so I'd be a fool not to get them blessings back out. You feel me? And God bless Summer Walker, because my girl bad. You feel me? And I just seen, oh, one more thing, Fargo. She was over there overseas performing. You know, my baby pregnant now. So, and the people in the crowd, all the white people. All the white people, bro. Just singing her music word for fucking word, bro. You can't beat that. You can't get, you can't. You know what I'm saying? You feel me? My baby was just crying. Because it's beautiful. Look at God, bro. Y'all better wake up, man. Hey, straight up, Summer Walker. Huh? Keep dropping that heat. You feel me? I fuck with you. You know. I don't know about nobody else. I fuck with you, Summer Walker. I love you. And oh. I. <laughs> I miss, I miss my pole. Right? Ja Queen Rodriguez. That, that boy daddy is Spanish, boy. Straight up. Anyway, Jacquees, he 26. He from Decatur, which is... Paul, it's not Atlanta. It's not Atlanta. Lights on you, it's not Atlanta. Nope. Clay Coat, it's not Atlanta. Nope. Decatur, it's not Atlanta. Nope. Gwinnett, it's not Atlanta. Nope. Roswell, it's not Atlanta. Nope. Fort Paul, it's not Atlanta. Nope. Lynn it's not Atlanta. Nope. Look, the North, it's not Atlanta. Nope. The South, it's not Atlanta. Not Atlanta. Oh, <laughs> uh, shit. Jacquees used to work in a barbershop. Okay, let me tell you. So, boom. It used to be like, and I don't know y'all been in Atlanta or whatever, but in Decatur, like, it be plazas and shit everywhere, and you could, like, walk to them and shit from, like, where the houses and shit at. So it's a little plaza. And him and all his homeboys just, like, hang out up there, you know what I'm saying? It was a barbershop. So the people seen, like, you know, Jacquees was a star, you know what I'm saying? He'll sing and do all that shit. 
So they gave bro a job inside the, he was sweeping up and this and that, doing all that shit. You know what I'm saying? He used to sing in front of the beauty salon, do his little shit, get his little money on. You know what I'm saying? So shit. He learned to sing at the age of nine. No lie. I'm, please don't punch me. But he's here to replace R. Kelly. I want the world to give Jacquees a chance. Look at this man. Just look up his music. This little nigga got a lot of songs, bro. Like, people don't understand. R. Kelly has a lot of fucking songs. And Jacquees, he's on that path. R. Kelly, 55 years old. Jacquees, 26. So give him his 30 years in the game. That little nigga came into the game telling y'all he the king of R&B. Y'all talking shit, talking about R. Kelly and this and that. Now look at R. Kelly. So now it's Jacquees turn to step up and take over. And I believe he could do that. But I need the world to get back into that R&B. Get to this love, man. I don't understand why everybody want to shoot every motherfucking body. It just makes no sense to me. Like, why is everybody out here want to shoot everybody? Like, like, I ride around listening to Jacquees. All the time, yeah. Like, John Queens is hard, bro. You know, Atlanta is something. Uh, the reason why down. Atlanta is so great like that because Stone Mountain is a large piece of granite. Mm -hmm. And it, it travels all the way through the city. And Atlanta is on top of like one of the largest pieces of granite in America. That's a fact. And what it is is that when that sun hit that, that yeah. granite, the vibration off the ground yeah. and off, off the people. It kind of translates, and I was doing some studying that um, it it goes all the way back to Egypt. Mm. It's a rock where it's like, uh, you know how the pyramids are. God bless Atlanta, boy. Hey, but you know what I'm saying? Jacquees, hot, could say, handsome little gentleman. You know what I'm saying? He the king of R&B. I want the world to face it, Jacquees. Jacquees, I'm with you, baby. You are the king of R&B. The rain is coming on, we know it is. Yeah. I have to kiss it, I'm going in. Yeah. No. Cause you get crazy when your heart yeah. is. You're on the way. So just go, just eat it up and put it in the world. Drop drop 10 videos a day if you can. Cause these motherfuckers, they need to know you the king of R&B. You taking R. Kelly motherfucking spot. Love give me such a thrill. But your love don't pay my bills. I need some money. What I want. That's what I want. What I want. That's what I Welcome to Fun Facts. Have you ever wondered how or why Romeo from Immature got that eye patch? Yes. Hmm. Brandy Norwood, Ray J's big sister, the culprit. Yeah, Immature has been knowing Brandy and Ray J since they've been like eight or nine years old. You know, they are from Los Angeles, California. But all of them... Ray J, Brandy, Immature, all of them come up under Chris Stokes. Chris Stokes got all of them their deals, all of them started. So, you know, they all hung around each other. So while they were young, they were playing around in the house one day. And Half Pint, you know, the disappearing Immature member, him and Romeo were playing around. And, you know, Brandy being a little brat and, you know, you know how Brandy is. She had like a little white girl. But she tossed a little Jehovah's Witness book up in the air. Crazy, right? Fell down, hit my boy Romeo. 
right in the eye. Yeah, with man. it being 2020 and, and all, been wearing that yeah, patch but ever since. Put that boy but actually, eye. he has you know the saying, uh, prostatic eye now. Immature was the shit back in the day. I don't know if nobody else know this, but I loved them. You know, they ended up replacing uh, half pint with LDB because half pint parents wasn't with that shit. Cause um, yeah, it was crazy. Cause look at Brandy, yeah, Brandy, it was you. You the one put that boy eye. You know what I'm saying? That's fucked up. Anyways, Romeo, God bless you, bruh. And that was your fun fact. You feel me? Just put a song on, man. These niggas tripping, man. Let's go. 